Well, I suppose you might actually say that this was a case of people in Georgia and other people around the rest of the country asking, what you talking about, Willis? What's up, everybody? It's the Robozoid, your semi-likable curmudgeon of the YouTube airwaves, uh, here with some more news. And I guess this actually is good news. Do you know how rare it is I get to produce, that I get to talk about good news? Well, it looks like that this chick, uh, Fanny Willis, might actually get impeached or thrown out or given the boot, given her mishandling of the Trump indictment case. Now, keep in mind, this is indictment number four for the Donald. And if, I, and if, and if you ask me, and if you ask anyone with a thinking brain in their head, this is a very unfair trial. Because, once again, Trump is being accused of something that he was not involved in, nor did he have any control over. And yes, it all goes back to the January 6th indictments, because they just love pulling that Trump card. No pun intended. But, uh, yeah, they keep falling back on this, and let's be honest, it keeps backfiring on them. The funny thing here is it's actually the senator from Georgia, uh, whose name is Colton Moore, is the one who's really going on the offensive here against this Representative Willis, who was so hell-bent on, on sticking it to Trump and on indicting him, throw, locking him up, throwing away the key, all of that. So he decided he had enough of this crap. As you can see from this letter here, the Georgia State Senator, Colton Moore, a uh, Republican, and hopefully not another rhino, took the first steps on Thursday towards the impeachment of Fulton County District Attorney Fannie Willis for her actions against the former President Donald Trump in a memo executive, in a executive, in a memo executively to Brent, uh, to Breitbart News that shows in a letter to, to to the governor Brian Kemp an announcement to investigate and, and begin and begin session hearings and also hold hearings of impeachment against the against the prosecutor. And why not? After all, she is just out to get Trump like the rest of those. Well, I can't use the word here, but obviously you guys know what I mean, because let's be honest, these big fat whatever they are, they are just out to get Trump because they like being ideological slaves to the Democrat Party. Let's face it, they love it. Now, I want to remain cautiously optimistic here that this is actually a good sign that they actually will get rid of this Willis chick. I want to believe this is not just another scheme by the rhinos or the usual establishment runaround. I want to believe that this is absolutely 100% legitimate, positive, and going to happen. Now, I want to believe that this is all true. I want to believe it's going to happen. But Georgia is another neocon state. Georgia is another, another hotbed for rhinos. So I'm, I'm not going to be disappointed if it doesn't come true. But then again, I wouldn't really be surprised. Like I said, Georgia is a hotbed, is a hotbed for rhino activity and neocons. I know, they say that they're all Christians, but they're all hypocrites. Sweet Neocon. Why do I feel like singing in these videos? Stop that. Stop that. That's a bad habit. All former presidential contender Ted Cruz can do is just say, well, I'm going to write a strong worded letter to these people. Yeah, right. Strong worded letter, please. You don't know what strong words are. You're just another rhino. And you don't seem to understand that the time has come for action, not words. And the actions are that this crazy lunatic, this nappy headed nut job who calls herself Fanny Willis, must be impeached. Is it any wonder that rhinos like Pawn Vanity love a guy like this because he doesn't get anything done? He talks a great game but still delivers on nothing. And of course, I think it's already been well established that Brian Kemp and the rest of his family are obviously no fans of Donald Trump's. So why go through this whole hooky-dooky at all? 
I mean, whatever happened to the investigation against Hillary Clinton in the whole Benghazi scandal, you know, what difference at, at this point does it make? Why didn't James Comey pursue that? I mean, <laughs> if they're really, if Trump is really guilty of all of these charges, for which I don't believe that he truly is, then, you know, what does it matter? So what? A lot of politicians are guilty of a lot of crimes, uh, whether, you know, and most of them did commit it, like the Biden cartel. They're still walking free. Even crackhead Hunter is still walking a free man. So what difference does it make at all, to paraphrase Hillary Clinton? What difference at this point does it even make? I mean, a lot of politicians are all corrupt villains and criminals anyway, and they all seem to still be walking scot-free because that get-out-of-jail-free card, priceless. So why should it matter? And you gotta be careful with a guy like Brian Kemp. After all, he is just another rhino. He is just another neocon like his father. That's the problem with the state of Georgia. Even though it may be a red state, it's not a deep red state. It is a neocon state. I'll get into the whole blue state, red state debate a little later on, um, and probably next month. That's a special video I have planned for next month. But for right now, I think we do need to talk about this. After all, Brian Kemp is the same type of rhino that his father was, just like Bob Dole also was. Somewhere I actually do have a picture of my father shaking hands with this rhino, but I'm not going to show you that to protect his identity. Also, the fact that I wouldn't shake hands with a rhino at all, even if his hand was cleaner than mine. Now, before we get out of here, I've got to play a couple of clips here. The first clip is from this guy named uh, Jimmy Dore. I've never heard of him either. And the last clip is going to be, I guess, a montage of Spacey Stacey Abrams, my affectionate name for her, not so affectionate, going on and on about how she lost the gubernatorial race in Georgia, when quite frankly, she's getting away with the very same things that they want to tar and feather and prison Trump for. Just watch. What the Democrats did is got the right attorney general in position to do it. We now know they really have been trying to gin up criminal prosecutions and criminal investigations into the president's perceived enemies. This is when they thought Trump was doing it to, to Joe Biden. Now Joe Biden's doing it to Trump. And it sounds exactly describing. It sounds like they're describing what Joe Biden and the Justice Department and all these DAs are doing to Donald Trump. Tell, tell me if it doesn't. He's got the right attorney general in position to do it. We now know they really have been trying to gin up criminal prosecutions and criminal investigations into the president's perceived enemies, politically motivated persecution, right? Courtesy of Bill Barr. I'll, I'll roll in the FBI on you. That's how banana republics work, right? The home of the 45th president of the United States has been raided by the FBI. So, right, you gotta tell me who this Jimmy Dore guy is. I ain't never heard of him before in my life. Meanwhile, of course, Spacey Abrams, my not-so-affectionate name for Stacey Abrams, she bitches about election rigging and nothing happens to her. Meanwhile, they want to put Trump in jail over the very same argument. That's just weird. Take a look at this clip, okay? Or this series of clips. ...that race because you believe it was stolen from you? No, I believe it was stolen from the voters. I'm in state houses that have restricted access to the right to vote and constricted not only that, but the ability of election workers to do their jobs. Do you still maintain that the 2018 Georgia election was stolen? It was stolen from the voters of Georgia. We do not know what they would have done because not every eligible Georgian was permitted to participate fully in the election. Besides, Trump just survived the third indictment placed on him by that little punk Jack Smith. You know, the guy that I mentioned earlier that probably walked around in high school with a kick me sign and probably also looks like Hunter Biden's doppelganger. Yeah. So why try indicting him a fourth time, Willis? I mean, seriously, Fanny Willis, you with your big Fanny. Why don't you keep it out of the spotlight? Jeez, are you stupid? So yet again, you can see the hypocrisy here of the hypocrisy of the left and the rhinos on the so-called right, what they like to call the Republican Party. But quite frankly, Ted Cruz 
Yeah, Mr. Write a Strong Letter, all words and no action. Well, you saw that evidence for yourself. Stacey Abrams, she belongs in prison a lot more because she tried to rig the Georgia election in her favor, as did that other guy who beat, uh, what was the blonde's name? It's coming to me. Oh, yes, uh, Kelly Leffler, the one who really should have won that election, as opposed to this Raphael Warnock guy. Yeah, you talk about a bunch of, well, those types of people complaining about stuff like that. Well, there you have all the evidence right in front of you. The Democrats whining and complaining about stolen elections from them. And quite frankly, Trump is doing this very same thing about complaining about a stolen 2020 election. And yet they want to throw the book at him and throw away the key for it. Hypocrisy much? Yeah, you've, you've got that right. You got that right. Absolute hypocrisy. Just total left-wing hypocrisy and stupidity. Stacey Abrams did the very same thing, and nothing happens to her. She walks scot-free, but they want to throw and they want to press charges against the Donald. Whatever, this has been the Robozoid saying, obviously these people don't understand that wokeness is weakness, and when I say these people, I mean both the Democrat left and the rhinos in the middle, because they're obviously not on the right, let's face it. So, the rhinos, the Brian Kemp's, the Democrats particularly, you know, this what you talking about Willis chick, and of course, Stacey Abrams. They never understand that wokeness is weakness. And let's face it, they're just a bunch of big, fat black women who, quite frankly, only listen to that soft, fruity R&B music <clears throat> and other R&B singers who have been dead for about a few years now because they really don't know anything about the spirit of true rock and roll and obviously the importance of power to the people, power to voices and power to the music in the streets. <clears throat> so what I want you to do before I lose my throat completely here, <clears> throat> is I want you to smash that like button. I want you to subscribe. All the good stuff that makes this channel work for you and for me. Besides, it's good for all of us. Subscribe, like, you're doing yourself a favor. You're doing me a favor. And I'll see you all later.